What's going on guys, it's your boy James here with Beers and Cars, back with another video. So, if you guys are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. So, in this video guys, I'm just going to do a... Sorry dude, I, look, look, okay, give me a break. I just got off work, just got off work, been sweating my ass off all day at work. So my beard is all over the place. But anyways, what today, what we're going to do is... I'm going to do a beard neckline. So I've had some of you guys ask me before, where's your neckline at? Where do you trim your neckline? I'm going to show you right here, right now. So I'm going to get out my trusty Brios. By the way, guys, if you don't have one of these, go get one. It's a pretty good beard trimmer right here. Probably one of the best in my opinion. There's a few other ones I haven't really tried out yet. A lot of people... Praise them, but I haven't tried them yet. This is what I got, and I've got another one. So, uh, for right now, we're just going to use this one. So, anyway, let's get right into it, guys. So, your neckline. Where should you trim your neckline? A lot of guys will go with their jawline here. So, if they were to take this off, if you were to take my beard off, a lot of guys will go right here with their jawline. Right here. I know that looks funny because you guys are used to seeing that, but a lot of guys will go right here with their jawline like this. So what that does is it leaves a lot of hair up under here that really needs to be there. So what I do, guys, is you can kind of do your finger like this and get an idea uh, where to trim it right in that area. You guys can see that. Put this up here with your pointer finger. Make kind of like an L. Kind of like right there. So what I do is I trim mine basically right here. We're at, the, we're at the top of my Adam's apple. That's where I trim mine. Now, I know some of you guys don't even trim your beard, your neckline at all. Dude, I have to trim this off. It's just like my mustache. I don't like it all nasty. Same thing with my hair. I don't, I don't like all this neck beard. I just, it ain't me. So, I trim mine up to about right here. And you guys better like this video because I've been growing this shit. Look at this. I can't stand this. Whew. All right. So, yeah, I've been kind of growing this just so you guys can see good in the video. And i got like one decent patchy spot on my beard, and it's right here. So, you see how all this is hairy? It's like the only patchy spot I got right there. It's weird. Right there. <laughs> it's like the only patchy spot I got on my beard. It's under there. I don't know why that's like that, but... It's there. So anyways, guys, you guys can see right there. This is below my ear, about an inch or so. And it kind of just comes in like this. So it's right, right at the top of my arms out right there. That's where we're going to cut. Now, when your beard gets long like this, it's really hard to even see it, guys. So I don't know if I've got one here or not, but I like to take this. This is the old ladies. Boy, how women come in handy. <laughs> Take this right here, and I just put mine up like this. That's where I can see it. I'm just kind of fold it over like that. That makes it a little bit easier to see under there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, cut this up to where it used to be right here before it got all hairy like this. So you guys going to see me looking over here over this way because there's another mirror over there I can see better in than I can see in this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this right in. So right here. Kind of like that. And you know, like every month I drop it down just a little bit more. Um, maybe a quarter inch more. I try to drop it down a little bit more, a little bit more. Because I used to have it a little bit higher up. But <clears throat> what happens is these hairs under here, man, they try to grow like these on my beard. Like they're going certain ways. But once they start coming out, they try to grow like straight out. And they really get tangled up in the rest of this. So I'd rather have this gone anyways. In my opinion, it just really gets in my way once they start going out. They're, man, when I brush through a comb through, they're really tangled up in these. So this is where I'd like to trim mine at. 
So well, let me get up there a little bit tighter so I can show you guys. And I'm about to look at this mirror. So like that right there, guys. Get right there, you see that? You see the difference. You see where I'm at, right here. Just a nice, clean line. Let's get this other side. This is the side I can't hardly ever see, so. By the way, if you guys have brios and your hair like kind of grows all kinds of different ways down here, these will pull your damn hair out, man. They're not real good for this area, in my opinion. In this area, I like more of like this style. Kind of like a, almost a T-style trimmer, but not quite as much. This cuts a lot better under here. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna keep using this one. Just to drop that in there for you guys. That's pretty much it right there, guys. Just like that. You guys can see that? Nice, clean neckline. That's how I got to rock it because all the little scraggly hairs down there, can't do it, guys. Can't do it. I know my beard looks all messed up. It's all right. I'm going to hop in the shower here in a minute anyways. Get all this crap out of here. But for those of you that are asking, that's where I trim my neckline, right there. My jawline would be more up here. I'll drop it down a little bit, right at the top of my Adam's apple, right there. Nice, clean look. But if you're one of those guys that don't like trimming at all, then you just obviously just let yours grow, man. Just let it grow. So, with that being said, guys, hopefully that helps somebody out. Um, I know there's some newbies out there wondering where to trim their neckline at, and that's it. It's almost just a nice, smooth flow going an inch or so below. The earlobe transitioning over like that. Like I said, when it gets long like this, it's really hard to uh, it's really hard to see. So be careful, man. You can really mess your beard up. Um, it's 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 really easy to take too much off. So always go a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time until you get to where you need to be. And like I said, man, these these are really, they're really picky, man. They want to go a certain way. So right here, they went straight up there real fine. Once I got to this side, trying to come down, man, they were pulling the crap out of my neck right here, man. So um, if you guys are looking for a nice, smooth um, set of cutters to get under here, go with the uh, the, the Beardscape, go with the, uh, the Axis, the real Axis, or go with something smaller like this, the Remington. It's going to do you a lot better for under here, man. It's not going to get so irritated like this is. This cuts well, guys, but if you're not going the right direction, it's going to start pulling, man. I know, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video there, but you can see how it cut this side real simple. And over here, it's going to have some trouble cutting right there. So my neck's probably going to get irritated right there from these things. But, oh, well, it's not the end of the world. But I had to put that out there for you guys just so you know. But this is a very well-designed uh, set of clippers here. And they stay charged forever, so you can't go wrong with these. You just might get irritated with the way they cut certain areas of your beard. So, if you guys 
would please drop a comment down below if this helped you. If you guys do a similar area like this, or if you just let it grow on down, and just let it grow and don't touch it at all. But that's uh, kind of what I'd like to know. If you guys want to leave a comment down below, uh, it really helps out to interact with you guys. I really like uh, answering comments, questions, things like that, and I'd like to hear you guys' feedback also. So it just, uh, just really helps. So like I said, hopefully this helps somebody. The beer neckline tutorial, that's it right there, just like that. And then I'll go back and I'll probably hit that with a razor right there, just so it stays shorter longer. That's it. So until next time, guys, peace.